Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making really loud PVC air horns that do not require any glue or screws. I've built PVC truck and train horns, but needed something that was a little bit different that was easier to put together and take apart. So I've come up with this video on multiple types of high pitch, low pitch, compressed air, and manual air horns. This first build is using all one inch PVC parts based upon the same premise I used in the two videos that are shown in the images here. You can find the links in the description below. To see the primary list of parts in the upper left hand corner of the screen, I'll explain each of them a little bit more as I go along, and there is a full breakdown of them in the description below if you'd like some more detail. In order to make the diaphragm for this, I'm taking an old bicycle tire that is trashed, and I'm cutting a two inch section out of it, and then cutting it down the middle to fillet it open. The nasty green stuff is self-sealing slime that was put inside, which wasn't enough with the patches to keep that tube in place, but that made it perfect for this project. Simply place the piece of tube over the end of a piece of one inch PVC and put a coupler over the top of that. The coupler may need to be sanded out a little bit on the inside to slide down easier, but once you're ready, place that over the tube, put a piece of wood on top and give it a slight tap. Then a few more taps and you should be nice and secure. You do want to go back though and check to make sure you have a good seal. Then you're going to put the T on the other end, which has a then about a two inch piece of PVC added to that and our male bushing, which is a reducer bushing. So far we've used two pieces of PVC and three fittings. Now we're going to take a little plastic tube that slides down the middle. It's about a half an inch in diameter and fits perfectly. If you don't have that, you can find something similar at a hardware store or take the paper tube off of a hanger and use. You'll notice I added the male adapter to the T and that's where the mouthpiece is going to go, but I also need to use a little bit of tape to make sure that the tube on the inside is held firmly in place with little leaks. Now it's a good time to test it out. You can see I used this exact same design to make several different sizes, including this three quarter inch one that I used a rubber glove for the diaphragm. <laughs> The combination of body size and inside tube length made for a high pitch and loud horn. So now I'm going to go back and add this funnel to work as a bell. <coughs> By covering the end where the diaphragm is, you can actually have some fun with the sound. <coughs> Changing the tone is easily simply by changing up the tube that's down the inside. Just make sure to get a good contact with the diaphragm, otherwise you're not going to get any sound. several areas where air was escaping and parts were loose, but that's nothing that a little bit of tape can't fix. Now let's try out the one inch horn we made at the beginning. The inner tube makes for a much thicker diaphragm, which means you're going to have to use a little extra force to blow and get sound. But I've got a dialed in way to make that even easier. Remember that air cannon we made in a previous video, which is also linked in the description below? We're going to attach that to our horn and pump it up. All I'm doing here is replacing the mouthpiece with the PVC cannon. So get to pumping, and this first round we're going to 50 PSI. <laughs> now 70 PSI. As a disclaimer, although the horn does not require glue or screws, the PVC cannon does. You're more likely to find more air leaks this way, so go back, get your tape out, and tape it up again. You can tape the inside or the outside. In fact, duct tape around the outside will really seal up those leaks and keep the parts together. In this next test, I'm going to pump up to 85 PSI and release the air slowly. Yeah, I think that'll do it. 
As I mentioned earlier, the basic design of each of the horns is essentially the same. If you freeze on the image, you can see exactly what you'll need. This was the one inch version. The only difference is the male adapter for a two inch ABS version was swapped out for a bushing. You can easily swap out different kinds of fittings, so get creative and have fun. Hey, let me know in the comments below what you made. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.